This is Blaze the Fire Safety Clown. And Flame the Fire Safety Clown. We're here at Virginia Williams today for a fire prevention thing. And I'm very, very excited. I just can't hold myself. You have to tell them what we're doing here. I'm yes, excited. this is 2013. We're having our Fire Prevention Week program. It's entitled The Flame and Blaze Show. It's a game show for the kids. We've yes. got three different segments. We've got Let's Make a Drill, yes. uh, Win, Lose, or Crawl. That's right. And, and are you smarter than a fifth grader, children? All right. And then they get to have the showcase showdown. Loving that. Spin the Wheel of Fire Big Wheel of Fortune. We're having a wonderful time. And this is Vanna White. Vanna, I love <laughs> I'm not Vanna, you Vanna. I'm Bob. You Vanna. I'm not Vanna. I'm, my name's Flame. I'll be Vanna then. Vanna All Blaine. Right. All right. You, you got the hair. I'm so excited. I can't help myself. Hair. I love the Wheel of Fortune. It spins real fast. I love it. I can't stop. <laughs> We're having a great time. Peace out. Word. Uh-huh. That's love. Nope.
playing with Bob Sparky and Smokey? Supply Fire Department service in this community, in this area. We appreciate them. Let's give our firefighters a hand. All right, boys and girls, we're so excited about our program today. Our Flame and Blaze show. Blaze, we're excited. And uh, if you hear your name, just come on down, and uh, we're going to show you what to do. So our first contestant on the Flame and Blaze show is Dalton Chestnut. Come on down! Our first contestant on the Flame and Blaze show, our second contestant is Dakota Sager. Come on down! Flame and Blaze show for today is Bailey Clutch. Come on down! All right, contestants, you can be seated and face the puppet stage. It's important, it's important today for you to remember to listen very closely because you're going to be asked some questions about what's going on today. So you can have a seat. Hello boys and girls, students, staff members, and fellow firefighters. This is your faithful fire safety specialist, Fire Marshal Bill here, at your service. And we are here to tell you that smoke and fire is very dangerous. Woo, boys and girls. I'm so delighted to see you again this year. I hope that you realize that my dear friend, Fire Marshal Bill, is exactly right. Smoke is not only dangerous, it's poison. And it can hurt you so very badly. That's right, Edith, dear. Fire puts off poison gases, fumes, and smoke. And these things are very harmful to your lungs. And your little bodies. And you can never breathe smoke, children. Edith, tell them what can happen. Tell them about your grandson, Edith. It's a good thing he knew how to get out and stay out. If you have a smoke or fire in your house, you better get low and call another smoke. And when you're out, boys and girls never go back inside for anything. No toys, no friends, no pets, no brother, no sister. Never go back inside. That's right, Edith. We thank you for that. Now, children, get serious. We want you to listen to the song by Chief Hubbard. Go, Johnny, go! In the bedroom late at night Underneath the covers was an awful sight Johnny was playing with matches of wood And soon he wished he'd put them back if he could He didn't know his exit plan so well Now the fire department's coming and they're ringing the bell Go, go! Go, Johnny, go, go! Go, Johnny, go, go! Standing up and starting to choke Johnny doesn't know about staying low He should be down on the floor by 
his G.I. Joe He never should have played with fire that night Now he's trapped in his room and it's an awful sight Go, go! Go, Johnny, go, go! Go, Johnny, go, go! Go, Johnny, go, go! Go! Johnny, be good! First question, or let's make a drill. Blaze? All right, 
you're going to hit your buzzer and raise your hand. Okay, so you're going to hit the buzzer, raise your hand. Okay, now I'm going to say a sentence, and there's going to be a word missing from the sentence. Just what we reviewed, okay? You guys ready? Everybody's ready. Hands on the buzzers. All right, thank you, Flame. Okay, here is the sentence, and there is a word missing. All right, crawl blank under smoke. Crawl blank under smoke. Right here. All righty. What word is missing, ma'am? Under. Okay, but what else is missing? Claw, crawl blank under smoke. Oh, here we go. Good trip. Right. Crawl under smoke. Crawl low. That's right. Very good. Give me a handshake on that. Low. But you need to do it also. That's very, very good. Crawl low under smoke. All right, Blaine, you want to ask our next question? Calm down. It's going to be good job. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. All right, boys and girls. Listen, listen real close. This is your next uh, next question on Let's Make a Drill. Are you ready, Dalton? Are you ready? Are you ready? All right. If there's smoke inside, you need to... Right here. Get low. Get low and get outside. Very good. Woo! <laughs> Ready. True or false? Firefighters are our friends. True or false? All right, you then move it on down. Move it on down. True or false? True. Everybody say true. Yeah. Awesome job. Good message. You can be seated. Thank you very much. All right, boys and girls. At the end of our program today, the Flame and Blaze Show, you're going to have an opportunity to work in the start to uh, participate in the showcase showdown and spin the wheel of fire prevention. And everybody's going to be able to win some good prizes, and we're going to have a great time. But, Blaze, it's time now to go to our next segment of our game show today. And we need to play a game called Win, Lose, and Crawl. Win, Lose, and Crawl. So the next three contestants of our game show, if we can have some game show music, all right, listen for your name and come up and join us. Porter Benoit, come on down. Our next contestant is Brianna Hardy, come on down. And our third contestant is Dakota Button, come on down. You're the next contestant on the Flame and Blaze show. We welcome you today. Okay, all right, here's what we're gonna do. This is a good game. We want you to practice crawling low under smoke. So what we're gonna do, guys, is Flame is going down and he's gonna get the gray sheet. We're gonna get some firefighters over here to help us. And what they're gonna do is they're going to hold up the sheet, okay? And that is going to be smoke. And we're gonna start down here on the other end of the room because it's very important, boys and girls, that you crawl low under smoke. And when you get outside, that you have a safe meeting place. Okay, very, very important. Just like here at school, when there's a fire alarm or fire drill, you go out to the edge of the fence. That's a safe meeting place. So when you're at home, boys and girls, it's very important that you establish a safe meeting place. It could be a tree out by the road. It could be the mailbox. It could be the neighbor's house or the, the car at the end of the driveway. All right? So when the smoke alarm sounds, you're going to get outside and you're going to crawl low under smoke. So since the smoke is here, we're going to move you guys. Flame, we're going to set up about here, sir, in the middle. Is that what we're going to do with it? Or are we going to do it here? Uh, we're going to do it this way. Okay, so we're going to move down. Y'all going to move down here by the nice fine deputy. Y'all go down by your deputy. Good old SRO right there. We'll be right with you. I'm going to get out my smoke alarm, Flame. If you'll hold the microphone, I have my testy alarm here. All right, boys and girls, when you crawl low under smoke, you get outside, you stay outside. But when you get out of your house, you need to have a safe meeting place. So we have our safe meeting place designated down here. Now, boys and girls and contestants, listen. All right, your safe meeting place could be a mailbox. It could be a bird bath. It could be the neighbor's front porch. So just make sure that when you get outside, you have a place to go so all your family can meet there, okay? All right, are we ready to play? We're ready to play win, lose, or crawl. Our contestants are gonna do this one at a time. When the fire alarm sounds, they're going to crawl low under the smoke and they're going to go to the safe meeting place. All right, contestant number one, are you ready? 
As soon as you hear the alarm, all right, it's showtime. Crawl low under the smoke. Good job. Go to the same meeting place. Let's give contestant number one a hand. Contestant number two. Crawl low under smoke. That's right, get low and go. All right, contestant number three. Going to crawl low under smoke. Good job. Let's give our three contestants a hand. Now we'll ask our three contestants to come back. Thank you, General. Thank you for the supply of fire department. Our three contestants will come back and have a seat here at the Wheel of Fire Convention. And they're going to be included today in our showcase showdown. All right. Boys and girls, get the message. We had a very important person that came out at the first of the show. Her name was Miss Edith. And Miss Edith, her name stands for Exit Drills in the Home. You're practicing fire drills here in school. But what we want you to do when you go home this afternoon, we want you to know two ways out of every room in your house. Make sure that you have exit drills. You're practicing fire drills at home. Contestants, remember now, Edith stands for Exit Drills in the Home. You may be hearing about that a little bit later, okay? All right, Blaze. All right, very good. We've got another special friend in the firehouse that's going to come out. Nozzle's the fire safety dog with a very important message. So again, we need you to be good listeners as he comes out and brings us our next important tip. Hello children, my name is Nozzles the Fire Safety Dog and I'm here today with the Southport Volunteer Fire Department and I've been enjoying watching you children today learning about fire safety. Some of you guys have been doing a really good job but I want to ask you a question. Does anyone here know what to do if your clothes catch on fire? I see some hands going up. That's right. If your clothes catch fire, you stop, drop, and roll. And you roll on the ground until the fire is out. Now this method has been taught around the world for many, many years. It's been taught to the young and the old to stop, drop, and roll if your clothes catch on fire. My friends at the fire station, they go around teaching all over the place in Southport and Brunswick County about the dangers and to stop, drop, and roll if your clothes catch on fire. So I want you kids to remember today and go home and tell an adult, no matter if you're cooking, if you're near the fireplace, or helping light some candles with a grown-up, if your clothes catch on fire, don't scream, don't run, and don't cry. Just cover your face and drop to the ground and roll. Remember always to stop, drop, and roll. I want to thank you for being good listeners today and helping the Southport Fire Department. This is very important to us. And again, I have enjoyed being with you today. Now, I want you guys to all sit back and listen to my friend, Firefighter Eddie, as he sings a song about stop, Drop and roll. Okay, children, y'all have a good day. I'll see you next year. Well, if you're out in that kitchen and you're rattling those pots and pans, well, if you're out in that kitchen and you're rattling those pots and pans, well, if your clothes catch fire, well, you're in trouble, man. Well, if your clothes catch fire and you don't know what to do Well, if your clothes catch fire and you don't know what to do Well, just listen to me and I'll give you a great big clue You gotta stop, drop and roll You gotta stop, drop and roll You gotta stop, drop and 
roll. You gotta stop, drop and roll. Well, you better do something to save your doggone soul. Well, you think that fire is a very fun thing to play But don't mess around, cause it'll burn you up someday Well, if your clothes catch fire, don't run, don't scream, don't cry Well, if your clothes catch fire, don't run, don't scream, don't cry But Just get on the floor and cover up your eyes And then stop, drop and roll Stop Drop and roll, you gotta stop, drop and roll. Well, stop, drop and roll. Well, you better do something to save your doggone soul. Alright, you 
if your clothes catch on fire, you're going to stop, drop, and roll. Woo! I'm telling you, Virginia Williamson Elementary School's on fire today. Stop, drop, and roll. Spin that wheel. Our wheel of life will meet you today reminds us. All right, that it is fire prevention week. Prevent fires in your home. Make sure when you go home today that you remind mom and dad to check that smoke alarm. He already did that. You, listen to that. He already did that. I'm telling you, that's great. All right, Dalton. He was on fire today. Hitting that button. Answering those questions. You done a great job, Dalton. Spin that wheel today and see what the wheel of fire prevention tells us. What's it going to say, Blake? What's it going to say? All right. The wheel of fire prevention reminds us, and you already answered this, practice exit drills in the home. Miss Eden, a very important part of our fire prevention team, always tells us, make sure you have your fire escape plan at home ready. Don't wait till fire strikes. Plan now. All right. Here's your prize. Thank you for participating today. What's your name? Okay, Dakota, spin that wheel. Spin, spin. All right, the wheel of fire prevention today reminds us smoke alarms save lives. It's a sound that you can stand. It reminds us never take our battery out of our smoke alarm, all right? And let's always make sure we got a fresh battery because a detector is a protector. Thank you for participating today. And what was your name again? Bailey, spin that wheel. Our wheel of fire prevention is reminding us today that the emergency number that we call if there's a fire inside our house is 911. Woo! All right, boys and girls, this concludes the Flame and Blaze Show, our 2013 Fire Prevention Week program. Blaze is going to wrap it up with us today. Thank you for being good listeners. All right, and it's very important that you practice what you learn. Everybody here has something. You can tell someone at home, so don't let it stop here. Very, very important. We want to thank the Supply Fire Department. We want to thank the school and the staff for letting you guys come in today. Y'all have a wonderful day. If you will, you'll turn your eyes on your teachers, and we'll let them start getting you guys out in an orderly fashion. Have a good day, and thank you. Kindergarten,